Kent. He has a hand in everything when he's playing. No one likes being a pushover. AJ McGinty, that's pure class from the flat half. Every year I've been able to learn something new and, and develop and improve. Tremendous talent he's been since joining the squad. With his attacking ability and metronomic boot, fly half AJ McGinty has played a pivotal role in the USA's recent results, helping the Eagles to an unprecedented eight wins from eight in 2018. What a great play again by AJ McGinty, strongest game I think we've seen him in the tan jersey for this US squad. I'd say I'm more towards attack and intent. I like to play with the ball in hand, I like to attack space, but then on the flip side of that, defensively, I like to play high and aggressive and, and do my part without the ball too, so kind of just like to be around the ball, I guess. In 2015, oh, around this time, I was just, just playing some college rugby, just in, enjoying myself. I'd like to say I've matured a lot as a, like on and off the pitch, and, I, and I've learned a lot, and hopefully like the, the stuff that I've learned, I can pass on to the other, the other guys in the, in the squad as well. Back in 2015, I hadn't been in a professional environment, but I'd gathered a lot of knowledge of just mates that, that have been playing professionally or lads that I was just trying to pick up stuff from. I'd say I'm in a better place and more experienced. While the USA have often been competitive, this June proved momentous as the Eagles claimed their first ever victory over a major rugby nation. We had a, a tough game against Russia in, in Denver in high altitude, then we had a really hard game against Scotland in the heat in Houston. Um, and then we played Canada away, so just again, good good experience for us playing playing those tough conditions and playing against uh, competitive teams. McGinty goes up though and chases this one now. It's outside the 22, the ball bounce up, McGinty has it! Genius! Summer says the Terminator is in! I think obviously against the Tier 1 nations, you're probably going to be put under a bit more pressure. Um, the, the pace of the game is, is a lot faster. But I think in, in every game, there, there are things to learn. And, there's things that you do wrong or the, the timing's a bit off and it's just an extra bit of time with the lads just to, to get things right. So something I probably haven't seen ever in, in the, the history of US rugby where you, you win a summer series or you, you, you win your games in the summer. So it was special to be a part of. One key factor in the USA's upturn in fortunes has been the appointment of Gary Gold. The 51-year-old South African utilising his experience of coaching around the world to make an immediate impact. It's really important on how we approach and how we want to play, and it's important that we get that right. And you know, Gary Gold will give us a, a game plan. It's important we go out, execute that. And the game plan he gives us is, is to go out and win. So I think with the US, there's been a bit more consistency. It's been very consistent with it with the players, and it's a it's a really good. Um, really good environment and camp to be in. Gar Gary's come in and he's got feedback for you and he's comparing you to other players throughout the world. So there's just some really good f feedback for all the players to, to improve and develop. And the Eagles' progress will be put to the test in November when they face Ireland, a side they lost heavily against just two years ago. It's going to be interesting because we played Ireland in New York two years ago during the summer and um, geez, we, <laughs> we got absolutely hosed, it wasn't very good. Oh, I was confident going into that game that we could be competitive for the majority of the game. Playing in Dublin, just a massive occasion, like Ireland are, are so good, the players are brilliant, uh, brilliantly coached, so everyone will be really motivated for that game and just, just out, out with a point to prove. Yeah, if we go to win in Dublin, will be very tough. But the current focus is on the Maori All Blacks, who the USA face in their opening fixture at the Chicago Bears' iconic stadium, Soldier Field. I think it's going to be a serious occasion because there's three games on for about 60 minutes or 40 to 60 minutes, you're competitive, and then after that, you're, you're a bit of a push out over and the floodgates open up. So um, just for us to be, to be as competitive as possible, like Ireland are playing there as well, and Ireland always draw a massive crowd from all the, the expats and that that are, that are living in Chicago. So the New Zealand Mary game is always a competitive game, and it's probably one of the games the lads like playing the most because they're just, the, the Kiwis are just a different level. So looking forward to it. Um, it's going to be, should be, should be an exciting day.